Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. The top of this box and the drawers have just become a dumping ground, so I need to sort it out. It's full of essential things, biros, pencils, bridles and awls, paint openers, markers, tweezers, spoons, a comb, some sparklers, carving knives, more pens, knives, punches, more markers, brushes, tape measures and rules, and scissors. All of it definitely essential. I don't know where all this stuff comes from, but if I can sort out some organisation for it, that'd be great. So I'm going to make it out of just scraps I have laying around, so it's not going to be the prettiest thing, but it's going to use up a lot of little bits and get some organisation done. This is just some structural plywood. It's not the best quality stuff or the prettiest, but it'd be fine for this. So that big bit at the bottom is basically the size of the top of the box. Then I'm going to glue and attach with some brad nails some dividers to get some of the taller items in. When you close the lid of the box, it locks the drawers and then you can lock the whole thing. But I have never once done that as I'm on my own in the workshop, no one else is going to be using my tools. So the box lid never gets closed. It's going to stick out the top of the box, which means I won't be able to close it. But as I never have, it's not a concern for me. The drawers work okay for like the pens and the punches, but these are things I use all the time, so having them just there that I can grab I think would just be much more convenient. I can then free up the drawers for things that need a little more protection and that I only use in a blue moon. So you can see these dividers are a nice snug fit and they need a little bit of a tap to get them down. Probably could have got away without any glue or nails at all, but I'm a belt and braces kind of guy. So on the back they're going to be kind of higher cubbies for things like the pens and pencils and then I want a second tier that's lower for some of the shorter tools. As I say I was just trying to use scraps for this so you can see at the end I had to butt a couple of bits together but you'll never notice any of this when it's actually in the box. Now I can start getting all these essentials put away. It filled up quickly, but everything actually fitted in pretty perfectly. I keep all my drill and screwdriver bits in a Stanley case, but I don't want to be going in it every time I need something that I use almost on a daily basis. So I'm just going to put a few shallow holes along the front and then a few of my most used bits can go in there. Time to see if it fits. So it just lifts into place and then you've got the front little lip bit where I can get my tape measures and rulers. So that's it all done really. But now, I need somewhere to put it. It's been sat on my assembly table, or my workbench, or I move it from one to the other. So, it's in the way. Keeping on the theme of scraps, I have these little offcuts of scaffold board. And they've cupped over time, so I need to plane them and thickness them to get them all flat. With that done, I can then rip them down on the table saw. So my plan is to try and get this box behind the fences on the mitosaur. Now it's too wide to just fit there, so I need to make some little feet for it to go on. These bits of scaffold board are nice and chunky because there's a bit of weight to that box, so they're just going to get glued and screwed together. I get the first foot screwed on in the vise and this is going to go up against the wall and then the second foot goes along the fence itself so I get that put in place in situ so it's the perfect position. I'm making two of these so the box is supported at each end and as you've got that open space under it I can probably slide rulers and long things like that in there. So the box goes on top and then it has to be pulled forward a bit because of how the lid opens backwards then I can get my organiser back in and all the tapes.
really pleased with this. It's really organised me and it's used up a bit of dead space behind the saw and it means I've regained some workbench space. And it's all lifted up high enough so the stop blocks still work fine. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.